morning, everybody. It is a small camera. Today, I'm going to do my panel and pick up. probably sucks. I'm on my way to the Airbnb that Jess and Dan are staying. They have kindly allowed me to park my car where they are staying because I do not want to pay the ridiculous parking at the convention center. We're all going to head over to VidCon together. My panel is today, so I just constantly feel like I've never prepared and also like what am I even doing here? Like why does anyone care what I say? I mean, not yet, not really. really. Like, <laughs> we're still waiting for three people. I've been super quiet all morning. I think I need to like pump myself up. Yeah. You guys were rolling out. Oh. This nice gentleman's gonna take us. Anymore? You guys, we are making our way to the room. There's Lindsay. <laughs> Dude, I'm excited. <laughs> we in now. This is actually karaoke now. Hi, everybody. Hi. I've been a dog mom for a while, and uh, three years ago, I actually had a kid. This is why my age is a secret. <laughs> and uh, I kind of wanted a place to just like hang out with my dogs more because I didn't want to be spending so much time with the kid. I mean, I did. You know, fuck it. <laughs> but uh, I didn't want them to feel like, you know, she never hangs out with us. We're gonna poop everywhere. <laughs> so uh, making videos is kind of like my way to be like, okay, this, we're gonna chill. I'm gonna feed you some treats. We're gonna tell the internet stuff about you. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much where it came from. Honestly, I don't know. I have to think really hard about this because I don't know what makes me different. I have dogs. Like everyone has dogs. Everyone likes dogs, right? Who likes dogs? <laughs> but I think the thing that makes me different is that uh, I'm actually on the camera and I, I made that a choice uh, for myself and I got a lot of comments in the beginning that were like, we want to see less of you and we'd like to see more of your dogs and I was like, you don't understand guys, I feed these dogs and I edit these videos and I give them their medicine, like, I'm going to be in the video. <laughs> Um, I have a full-time job, I have a kid, I have two dogs who are like children, um, so I have many jobs, and uh, I think the only way I'm able to do any of this is with a really dope schedule. And I'm going to geek out about this a little bit because uh, my, back, my background is in project management, like that's what I do in my real job, so it's pretty exciting when I can take it and like make a really awesome schedule and like be able to do everything, so that makes me very happy <laughs> in a satisfying way. Um, the other reason is the why. Um, so a lot of my content is meant to educate people about the breed of dog I have. I have two huskies, and they're very beautiful, but they can sometimes be a lot. Like you need to do your research before you decide and take a, you know the commitment of owning a dog like this. Um, and it's kind of it's a journey that I went through when I got my first dog, and I wanted to share that with everybody because there is and I found this out when I was rescuing my second dog. There are so many rescues out there that are purely just huskies and northern breed dogs, and it's because people get them, they're beautiful, they have pretty eyes, and then they just can't handle the breed. Um, so honestly, the reason I continue to turn the camera on is because I just remember going to that rescue and seeing all the huskies there and being like, people gave you up or you ran away and uh, because they just didn't know enough uh, when they adopted you. So. Uh, I think it's really important to like educate the world uh, about how to be a responsible dog owner. And people, uh, if I meet people that watch my channel or come up to me and say like, 
oh, you helped us decide to get a husky, or you helped us so much when we got our puppy. Like, that really makes me want to continue to turn the camera on. What? Okay. Thank you. just finished my panel and now I'm gonna get some pizza because I need food. Oh no, I can't go out the store apparently. Very embarrassing. Thank you. So now I just have to find Dan. All right, I have to find his mohawk. This is unreal. I cannot believe this was my life today. They like ushered us in through the bag. It's crazy. <laughs> <sighs> well, now I'm relieved and we can really party. Everyone just came back from a party at VidCon and clearly these two missed me. These are my feet. <laughs> hey guys, did you miss mama? I missed you too. Wish you could have come to the party. It was wild. It was actually really awesome. I was there with some dope creators that I watch regularly on YouTube. So I was kind of fangirling a little bit. It was so worth it and so amazing. Ooh, I'm exhausted now. Time to get myself together for tomorrow. <laughs> I think I just have to stay here now. I can't move now. Oh, I miss you ladies too. I did. You guys are the best. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> What are you doing? Good morning, Phoenix. Bless you. Good grief. All right, I'll pet you too. Oh, goodness. Why? For the find us. Why is he trying to find us? Okay, bye. Oh, great. Now I'm not going to be able to find you. You find him. Okay. Okay. bar they got at the Hyatt. All you can drink. So the thing is, after everybody leaves for the day, when you're a Spurger, you get to go to the Expo Hall and there's nobody here but Spurger. Everything that I wanted to do earlier today, that I had to wait in line for, <laughs> is now awesome. Guys, I'm in a ball pit. Contrary to popular belief, this is not my house. <laughs> I have one in my house. Do you really? Yeah. Oh, okay. This is full of germs, probably, but YOLO. All right, we're in a maze. I think there's candy at the other end. <laughs> this is why we're here. Getting uh, squashed. Good morning, Gryffindor ducks. 
Dan's gonna live stream for an hour. He's getting rigged up right now. So, check it out. I guess by the time this goes up, it will already have live stream. So, I hope you guys check it out. Oh, have you seen this? Where? At the Twitter lounge. I think they're out of them now. You gotta That's... go back there. Like, go behind the stage. That's cool. Yeah. Right? So cool. Right? I need like a hug, like your BFFs. Like, yay! Okay, we are BFFs. There you go. Yay! I put my foot up. Did you see that? Well, yes. <laughs> I did a All right, friends. It's 12:30 a.m. So obviously, I'm editing the VidCon vlog. So all in all. VidCon was a really cool and different experience for me. I'm very new in this creative space. I mean, I've been on YouTube for three years, but that's honestly not very long in the life of a YouTube creator. It was really just like an honor and super humbling to speak. I don't even know what the highlight of that whole experience was. It was so neat to have a speaker badge, so cool to make awesome new friend just like chill and hang out and basically have no responsibilities the entire time i will probably come back next year i plan on speaking again at some future vidcon because your girl's got goals really thank you guys a lot for subscribing commenting coming back every week i actually really love creating and making videos for all of you and i hope to keep doing it all right bye